Matt Rivers joins me now from Port-au-Prince, Haiti, for more on this. Matt, what's it like there right now? It's hard to overstate how dire this situation is. You know, I've been to Haiti many times. I have a lot of contacts here in Haiti, and the people that I talk to are not prone to, you know, hyperbole. You know, these are people who are used to trauma, who are used to violence, who are used to the kind of gunfire that we heard all night last night. And the conversations that I'm having, even with those people, are saying there has never been a situation like this before. You are talking about a failed state. There is no real government. The only institution left standing is the police. I don't think it's too much to say that the only thing standing right now between total gang control of the capital city and what is left right now are just a couple thousand police officers who are incredibly brave and, and continuing to, to fight. Uh, Matt, thousands of people have been displaced and are now in need of immediate humanitarian assistance. <laughs> Last week you reported the World Food Program wasn't able to get aid into the capital because of those gangs taking control of the roads and ports. So has any aid been able to get in since? A, a trickle, and that's probably even overstating it, because there's just a handful of helicopter flights going in and out each day, but they're mainly focused on bringing people out of here. You're talking about a humanitarian crisis that needs to be met with aid at scale. We're talking about tens of thousands of meals, tens of thousands of, you know, m more pieces of medical equipment, not just what you can fit on a single helicopter. And to do that, you need to be able to drive. You need to be able to bring ships in. The port is right over there. It's closed. Nothing is getting in. No food is getting in. No aid is getting in getting in. Everything is shut down. Gangs control every single entry point into this city, except for helicopters that fly in, set down, take back off immediately thereafter. So unfortunately, the short answer is no, there is no aid getting in, even though it has never been more needed. Now, Haiti's prime minister resigned last week, but this transitional presidential council has yet to be installed. So where do those talks stand now? Yeah, so there is just ongoing negotiations between, uh, you know, the different political parties here, different ha stakeholders in Haitian society, even member representatives of the church. The idea is to create an elect a transitional council that's made up of five to seven members that would essentially have the powers of the presidency here in Port-au-Prince, in Haiti, and then they would appoint a council of ministers. They would try and form a government that could then bring elections and, you know, bring some order back to the country. But in terms of where that is when the council being announced we don't know at the moment we thought it might have been announced already it hasn't but even when it doesn't get when it does get announced the gangs here have already made it quite clear that they're not going to accept that moving forward so i don't think that even when this council gets announced which might happen as soon as this week that the gangs are going to say oh everything's okay and, and not be violent anymore they're going to continue the fight so where where the solution is here how this gets better is entirely unclear all right matt rivers in haiti stay safe matt thank you Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.